Number three. Number three, Number three step, step forward, forward please. please. Yeah, more than the others. I'm playing elimination here. I saw him 10 seconds in the dark. You want me to say I'm sure? I'm not. Hey, Davis, take it easy, all right? I'm not asking you to lie. Could be... Could be number three. Jeez. I'm not sure enough for an ID. It was dark. What was that about? Keeping those two apart. About ten years ago, I'm working at Central Park in the fall. The whole place smells like a sewer. Captain says I'm imagining it. Lieutenant says I'm imagining it. Turns out it's some tree with flowers that rot. It lasts about a week. Hey, what? Am I missing something here? This thing smells too. Internal Affairs says I'm imagining it. Cragen says I'm imagining it. And you're not imagining it. On Silky? Two maybes? Both cops aren't sure? Max, these guys are cops. They're cops. 90% of all police officers forget about killing. They go 30 years, never fire a gun. Fredo, I heard this morning. Second time. Makes you wonder, that's all. Yeah, and it also makes you wonder how many cops died thinking that's not a gun in his hand. Well, we can't hold Silky. Shoved out a plane at 30,000 feet, no parachute. Nice, straightforward little case, huh? So the wrap it up, no problem, boys said. We're gonna get strung up. Why did Fredo and Davis go soft on Silky at the lineup? They made a mistake. Yeah, they thought nobody would know they were lying. If you're wrong and you go after cops... If I'm wrong, I'll go to the grand jury and say I killed the kid. Yeah, I can use the time off. You heard about the kid? Princeton? Yeah, just goes to show you. Homeboys. No matter how fancy you dress them up, you can still gun down a cop just like any street scum. The dude you and Davis passed on in the lineup, Fredo, it's hard to believe that his gun was there and he wasn't. Now, if he happens to say he was there and contradicts you... What is this? I got 23 years in a force. Now who are you gonna trust? Me or some eggplant? Gee, Mikey, sure sounds trustworthy to me. How about you? Hey, hey! Easy, Fredo. Next time you wanna ask me something, talk to my P.O.B.A. rep. The man has... Hello, Silky. You looking fine, baby. I thought with Tommy gone, you'd be out of business, though. Yeah, well, I got other customers. The wire works. Thank God for small miracles. You got my rocks? You know it. A pound of the best. Five grand, baby. Countdown. Three. Two. Yeah, baby. Later. One. Go! Go, go, go! Come on! Free! Holy! I'm moving! Don't move! Don't move! So what, are you going to protect me for the next 30 years? You're a predicate felon, Silky. You can get put away for 15 years to life. Okay, sports fans. Let's go to the videotape. 
Did you see Fredo Parisi shoot Tommy Richardson? Fredo says, don't move. Tommy turns to say something and the cop shoots him. Tommy didn't have no gun. Fredo takes my gun, he wipes it on his shirt, twice. He puts it in Tommy's hand. Fredo tells me to take the dope and leave. Says it's my lucky day. Did he say anything else? Oh, yeah. He says if I tell anybody, he'll kill me. At my cell at the tombs, he tells me again. Keep your mouth shut or you're dead. Even if I burn him, his partner will get me. Well, you have five kids, terrific wife, nice house. Massapequa, isn't it? Yeah. You've earned five or six citations. You have a great record. Don't let misguided loyalty ruin your life. You stay with Fredo, he'll take you down. He's my partner. Something you don't know. When they brought the Richardson boy to the morgue, he had $3,000 on him. The transaction never took place. He never bought Silky's gun. You weren't even there. After the incident was called into internal affairs, what did Patrolman Parisi tell you? He said if there was ever a lineup, he didn't want me to identify the guy with the birthmark. Did he tell you why? I said I didn't have to worry. If they picked him up, he would say he wasn't there. Did Patrolman Parisi tell you why he was so certain you didn't have to worry? He said, he let him take the crack, stuff he was going to sell. Were you at all concerned that Patrolman Parisi might be wrong? That the suspect in question might admit to being there that night? No. Fredo, Patrolman Parisi said it was a sure thing. Guy didn't dare open his mouth. No more questions. And no questions of this witness. You may step down. Prosecution calls Dorian Silky Ford. Mr. Stone, is this going to take some time? Yes, Your Honor. of how late in the day it is. Let's continue tomorrow. Any objections? Court is adjourned. <clears throat>